We Love Facts presents the most weirdest things that only exist in Japan. Noodle slurping. For the Japanese, slurping is considered polite because it shows that you're enjoying your delicious noodles. And really, if you don't eat loudly enough, it can be mistaken as you are not enjoying your food. And in fact, that slurping is not entirely for the sake of politeness, but also to avoid having a burnt tongue. Japanese soups and noodles are generally served steaming hot, and slurping helps to cool down the food. So, the louder you slurp, the better. Naked Festival Hadaka Matsuri is a bizarre Japanese festival involving thousands of men removing their clothes in public due to the ancient belief that a naked man has a greater ability to absorb evil spirits. Participants wear a minimum amount of clothing, usually just a Japanese loincloth called fundoshi, sometimes with a short hoppy coat and rarely completely naked. These festivals are held in dozens of places throughout Japan every year, usually in the summer or winter. Kancho Did you know that there's a playful little prank that friends pull on each other that involves having fingers spontaneously shoved in someone's butt? It's called Kancho. This prank is popular among children and some adults. To do this, you would need to clasp your hands together so they are shaped like a gun. Then the most important part happens. The purpose is to attack the victim by attempting to <laughs> insert the index fingers quickly into the derriere of the victim while yelling, Concho! Yaiba One of the latest trends sweeping Japanese girls is getting yaiba tea. Yaiba, which translates literally as double tooth, is a dental procedure which sees the upper canines capped either permanently or temporarily. Yaiba or snaggletooth are considered cute, with some Japanese men finding the imperfect smile they form endearingly childlike and attractive. Kit Kats Most of the world knows the Kit Kat as an ordinary coffee break snack made from wafers and milk chocolate, but Kit Kats in Japan have been taken to the next level. Customers in Japan have been able to enjoy creative flavors over the years, including grilled potato, green tea, soybean, blueberry cheesecake, or something spicy like wasabi version, and of course many others and weirdest flavors you won't believe actually exist. There have been more than 300 limited edition seasonal and regional flavors of Kit Kats produced in Japan since 2000. The candy has become hugely popular in Japan, but to outsiders, they might seem a little mm, unusual. Toilet Slippery In Japanese culture, there's a tendency to separate areas into clean and unclean. Shoes are considered the least clean thing imaginable. To minimize contact between the unclean toilet floor and the clean floor in the rest of the house, they have toilet slippers. They are placed at the toilet entrance and whenever you want to use the toilet, you can change from your regular indoor slippers to the special toilet slippers. This also indicates if the toilet is in use. A frequent faux pas of foreigners is to forget to take off the toilet slippers after a visit to the restroom and then use these in the non-toilet areas. Black Teeth Ohaguro, which may be translated as blackened teeth, is a practice in which people dye their teeth black. Whilst this custom is known to be practiced in different parts of the world, but it is most commonly associated with Japan. Dyeing is mainly done by married women, though occasionally men do it as well. It was also beneficial as it prevented tooth decay in a similar fashion to modern dental sealants. Weirdest TV Shows the Japanese are famous for many things, some of which they'd be extremely proud. They brought us sushi, the most innovative technology, as well as the seriously strange game shows. Their culture is fascinating, as it is both traditional and ultra-modern at the same time. On the ultra-modern side of things, Japanese TV game shows are famous worldwide for being as crazy as it gets, creepy, hilarious, wacky, and sometimes even violent. The internet is full of videos, pictures, and GIFs just showing how crazy Japanese game shows actually are. We don't know who comes up with the concepts, how they come up with them, or what they're smoking when they do, but we think they're brilliant and would love to watch them. Capsule Hotels Japan has come up with an answer for those seeking just a bed for the night. 
Capsule Hotel is a type of hotel developed in Japan that features a large number of extremely small rooms, capsules actually, intended to provide cheap, basic overnight accommodation for guests who do not require the services offered by more conventional hotels. Poop Museum have you ever wanted to slide down a giant toilet while wearing a hat that looks like a turd? <laughs> well, exactly, this is possible in Tokyo in Japan. There is actually a museum that is based on poop. People who visit the poop museum in Tokyo can buy hats shaved like poop. You can look like all kinds of poop, including animals. There are many attractions for visitors like models of different toilets around the whole world chorus of singing toilets and people who can go down a slide inside a giant toilet that is supposed to simulate the journey of human excrement. The exhibition also included interactive educational materials about the nature of feces and the impact of human and animal waste on the environment. And as many visitors said, it's not every day you can become feces. Gas Mask Island Miyake Island is an inhabited volcanic island in the Philippine Sea approximately 110 miles southeast of Honshu, Japan. This island is covered with a cloud of harmful sulfur dioxide gas spewed into the air by volcanic eruptions. The area's heavy weather systems and cold make it worse. Dealing with the sulfur dioxide constantly pumped into the air is one of the consequences for those living in Miyake-jima. The residents of the island are required to carry gas masks with them at all times. Tourists come from all over Japan to experience Japan's deadliest island. The ferry provides each tourist with disposable gas masks. Tourists enjoy the hot springs and take tours in the area of the islands that were destroyed by the volcano. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and leave us a comment below. To stay up to date with the most amazing videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned, a new video is coming out soon.